What up, friends? Welcome back to another season of PGA Tour Picks from me, Jeff Feinberg, for oddschecker.com slash US. If you missed it already, I released an outright picks video with my guy, Rick Gaiman, at Rick Run Good. I made three outright selections ranging from 14 to 30, 3 to 1. We may touch on those. We'll certainly touch on at least one of them in this video here. Uh, but go check those out and do me a favor, smash that like button. It supports me. It goes a long way um, in that venture. So I thank you for that in advance of the 2022 PGA Tour season. I'll be here every week laying my props on you. We'll get it going. It's the soft launch. It's the TOC. We're in Hawaii. Then we go to PGA West and we get really ramped up, right? Once we get to Phoenix and, and Torrey and, you know, the Super Bowl's over and the world becomes our oyster. But that doesn't mean there aren't opportunities this week. And we're going to start looking down the board in the prop section here. I have played Lucas Herbert plus T20, uh, a T20 at plus 150. That coming in as low as minus 143 on the odds checker grid. So right away, thank you to that odds checker grid, identifying the big number for me on Herbert um, T20 and Herbert T10 plus 550. Obviously piggybacking off the plus 150 at FanDuel. They're giving us a beautiful T10 at plus 550. That one I'm seeing at plus 333 on that odds checker grid. So thank you, FanDuel, and thank you, Odds Checker, for helping me identify where to get the biggest Herbert number. Herbert has shown an ability to love these coastal uh layouts that can actually represent or present a lot of challenges or wind when things get difficult. He won in Bermuda in the fall. He won in Ireland last year. And I know it's not coastal, but he has that win in Texas and is that University of Texas Longhorn. Uh, he showed out at the Valero a couple of years ago. So if things get hairy, which historically we have seen, right? We have seen the scores with no win flirt with 25-30. And we've seen when things get windy, we get a winning score in that um, low teens potentially. So in case it becomes a windy event on the ocean in Hawaii, we like our Lucas Herbert props here, plus T10, plus T20. And I promise you, there's something coming down the pipe here, but this Herbert wager has nothing to do with Herbert loyalties this week. Okay, friends? Okay? Okay? We're not there yet. Though it's an important week, and I'll tell you, if I lose every single bet on this tournament and the Chargers win, I'm not even going to feel it. Also, if I lose every bet of this tournament and the Chargers lose, I'll probably feel these lost bets even less because I'll be so angry about something else. I won't even remember that I got skunked at the TOC. Hopefully none of that happens. Positive vibes. Positive vibes positive vibes okay so that's the really only placing prop i've made i'm now going to give you three head-to-head -head matchups that all involve um you know the superstars in this field ironically i didn't find any of the head-to-head -head matchups i'd like lower down the board ironically i thought i saw some value near the very top of the market and we'll start with getting plus 110 morikawa versus bryson i love bryson I'm not going to be smirch Bryson one bit. I'm only going to say, I get this vibe with Bryson. We're going to have to rev that engine a bit. Like a lawnmower that we haven't started all season. Like, vroom, vroom. We're, Bryson, I, I just want to see it like, he doesn't have to win. I just want to see it like coming together, being fine before he's going to have my money. And he's going to have it plenty in 2022. Especially as people want to anoint other players better than him. I'll happily be betting Bryson. But Morikawa, that iron play, it's just the... You know, it's just so pronounced at a course like this. Um, I, I'm willing to take the plus money. He's even shorter than him on the overall tout board. But I'm taking the plus money with Morikawa here. I just believe the skill set could probably be more conducive. I mean, we've seen guys drive the crap out of this place, Dustin, in, in, in the past. But, yeah, I, I just want to see Bryson rev that, rev that lawnmower a bit before he gets my money. So that was an easy one for me. And we can piggyback both these essentially together. But I'm playing Xander at, at plus 105 versus Victor Hovland. Uh, I love Victor. You watch my content in the past. Victor has made us very profitable. One of the best bets last year. Victor by the field goal. I've asked for it this week just to see what they would post. It was like 30 to 1. You know, no thanks, guys. Um, so hopefully maybe the Victor steam can cool down a little. But is there a more overvalued golfer than Victor Hovland on the planet right now? It, it hurts me to, to even have to throw any shade there, but I just think he's a little overvalued at the moment. So I'm going to ride with Xander Shoffley uh, here, who has won here before. It's the perfect no-cut event for Xander. 
Uh, you know, he's running it up. He does everything here. He does everything here. And I, I'm very bullish on what sort of year in the winner's circle Xander is going to have. Pretty much picking up on the identical themes of why I picked Xander over Victor. That was plus money. I'm laying 20 cents and taking Xander over Burns. Burns, much like Victor, I mean, less so from a hype perspective, but I mean, we've got everybody here but Rory McElroy. This field is stacked, and Sam Burns is 18 to 1. I'm just not there. I'm just not there. So, but the simple fact that Burns is 18 to 1 and Xander's just a nose hair in front of him on the overall tout sheet, this is something I'm going to try to take advantage of in this moment. Um, I think Sam Burns is fantastic. I just don't believe he's the player that some of my friends even tell me that he is. I don't believe he's in this class of player. This is also going to be his first time at Kapalua. We know this is not exactly a course that's been um, kind of debutant. It's very uh, uneven lies, enormous greens, high three putt percentage. You, you can sometimes use a bit of a learning experience at Kapalua, and that's probably documented in historical results from, from uh, debutants. For the most part, that's, I mean, listen, all these guys, they're so good now. Look what we saw you know, Zalatoris and M do it the Masters the first time. These guys are so much ready for situations that probably golfers of past generations weren't. weren't. But, you know, there are some tricky elements that can give a debutant a bit of a strange field or look. So I'm playing Xander in that respect. I'm picking on what I believe two overvalued youngsters at the moment. And Xander is just the ultimate Kapalua Century Tournament of Champions guy, in my opinion, who isn't named Justin Thomas. After Justin Thomas, of course, who's like won it twice in the last three years or something. Uh, lastly, super exotic. This one will go to, uh, more to these boys, but as the week's gone on, I've fallen more and more in love with Hideki Matsuyama uh, this week. He's just so good at hitting off uneven lies. I feel like he's kind of a silent assassin when staring at the sport, I also was intrigued by Sung JM, but I made that decision on Hideki. So what I have done, you got to read the signs. In life, sometimes we have signs. There's signs, and you got to follow them. I'm not into astrology. I'm not into horoscopes at all. But a week like this for me, I see a sign, and I'm going to follow it. So I clicked on Hideki to win this tournament. And then I said, you know what? Let's put the Chargers on there. Because these games, they're going to go off. Probably going to be ending at the same time. It's not a good look for Feinberg. But Hideki and the Chargers minus the field goal versus the Raiders in the play-in game on Sunday night pays 55 to 1. What's the sign? The sign is the reason I fell in love with football in the first place. Junior sale, 55. 55 to 1, Hideki and the Chargers. Junior sale warms my soul. It's the middle of winter. Um, it's a nice box outside here. I had to have a heater on for like 15 minutes before I could sit in this chair because it's freezing. So let's warm the soul. I can't wait to see the, the golf shots in Hawaii, the ocean shots in Hawaii, the panoramic views of Hawaii. It just warms the soul, even if my guys are making bogeys. It really does. I'm Jeff Feinberg. I'm out. Support the content here at Odds Checker all year long. Start us off with a like of this video right now. I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate it. Couldn't even get that out of my mouth. But let's get, let's get 22 off the mat in the right way, friends. Let's start it off right. We'll see you next week talking Sony Open. Still in Hawaii. I'm not in Hawaii. I'm in a frigid tundra. The golfers are in Hawaii. I'm out.